Hi Pilgrims, Sue from Sisters to Santiago here today to talk to you about a game-changing piece of gear that can make your Camino more comfortable and enjoyable. The hands-free trekking umbrella. I first heard about the trekking umbrellas when doing research on walking our first Camino, but it wasn't until the second Camino that I decided to give it a try. And we received a number of comments from viewers asking me to demonstrate how to attach the umbrella to my pack using the hands-free clamp system. So today, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you. But before we dive into this discussion, I want to say that we're not sponsored by any of the companies I talk about today, and I have purchased all these items with my own money. If you're interested in the setup I have, I will leave links in the description below to the brands I talk about as well as where you can buy them. Before I show you the hands-free clamp system, I wanna share my thoughts on the benefits of bringing a trekking umbrella with you on the Camino. Most people think of the umbrella for raining conditions, but where it really shines are on those really hot days when there's little to no shade, like on the Meseta in Spain. You might be saying, well, I'm walking my Camino in the shoulder season, so I won't need one. Well, not necessarily. When we walked the Chemin de Puy in September last year, we had many days that were in the 90s and the sun was relentless. What I immediately noticed the first time I used the umbrella was that it was like having my own personal shade tree walking with me. My sister didn't have one and watching her walk in the blazing sun looked miserable, but she passed the time just fine laughing at how silly I looked, which I guess I would giggle too if I was watching her wear one. My lack of fashion statement really didn't bother me though. I was able to take my hat off um, under the umbrella, which allowed a lot more ventilation and airflow around me and I was instantly cooler. Another benefit was that I didn't need as much sunscreen. Oh, um, I would like to add that my lack of fashion on the trail was redeemed in town when it was raining. I could leave my rain poncho in the room and just bring the umbrella. As we all know, ponchos are definitely not a fashion statement and not having to deal with it when you're walking around town and exploring and going out to dinner is definitely a plus. Before I show you the hands-free clamp system, I want to tell you a bit about the umbrella of my choice, which is the Z-Pax Lotus UL umbrella. Z-Pax is one of the leaders in the world of ultralight backpacking gear, and their umbrella was created to be one of the lightest hiking umbrellas in the world. And Z-Pax umbrellas offer a large 38 inch canopy and provides UV protection at 40 degrees. It's also super ultra light and it only comes in at 6.8 ounces. The overall length when it's closed is 25 inches and you can easily store this on the side pouch when you're not using it. My z packs umbrella comes in at $45, which is a lot, but when you compare that to the other high quality lightweight hiking umbrellas out there, it's pretty much right on the mark. Now let's dive into the hands-free clamp system. I've tried three different systems, which I'll talk to you about today. The first one is by Gossamer Gear, and I use this system on the Chemin de Puy. Gossamer Gear is another leader in the ultralight backpacking gear world. The Gossamer Gear system includes two pieces. This large piece is the clamp that holds the stem of the umbrella in place and then locks it in and the Velcro goes around your shoulder strap. And the second piece is a small little bungee that then wraps around the shoulder strap and the stem of your umbrella and then it's cinched tight. And this system weighs 0.7 ounces and costs $6. Before I put this on, I'm going to just point out that if you have a system already as part of your backpack, which is where you store your trekking poles, if you're not using them, you might wanna consider using the other side. All right, let's go ahead and attach this system. Again, you just take the upper half of, or upper part of your strap, and you're going to put the clamp on the outside and then just feed the Velcro, Velcro through and attach. So it's just like that. Let's attach the umbrella, see how this one works. So you just snap this in place and then you take the Velcro
and you tighten it below. There you have it. So initially this was working great, but what kept happening for me is because this is kind of a toggle and it can go back and forth, the idea is that it would toggle depending on if the sun was leaning more on that side or if it was leaning more on this side. Problem is it had a mind of its own and it would just do that all the time. Hit me in the head, drive me nuts. I'd have to put it back. I'd start walking with my clamps, my um, trekking poles, and it was just, it was constantly just hitting me in the head and falling back and just not staying in place. So I wanted to use this more than I did on the Camino um, when we were on the Chemin de Puy, but because of this issue, I just found it annoying and so it sat in my pack most of the time. So with the problems I was having with the Gossamer gear system, I did some more research to see if I could find a better setup. The second system I tried was by Z-Packs. As my umbrella was also made by them, I was hoping that this system would work better. The Z-Packs system is actually lighter than the Gossamer gear setup and comes in at just 0.21 ounces. And the cost is the same at just $6. Unfortunately though, when I got the system, which includes this clamp, and a bungee, I realized that the clamp here is made for daisy chains on your back straps that are vertical and the ones on my Osprey pack are horizontal. So I called them to see if there was a way to make this work and they said no it doesn't. So if you're thinking about the Z-Packs you need to make sure that you have vertical and not horizontal daisy chains on your backpack. If you're finding this video helpful, please make sure you like and subscribe to learn more about tips and gear reviews for walking the Camino. The third system I tried was actually a DIY setup using hydration clips, just like this, and also a bungee. And these clips are normally designed to keep your drinking tube for your water system in place so it's just easy to grab and drink. But today we're going to be using this and I've already got one set up on my pack and I've attached it to the daisy chain that's pretty high up, not completely all the way to the top, but really high up on my pack. So you take your umbrella and it just snaps right in place. You take the bungee and this is the same type of bungee that you would use for both of the other setups as well. And that then goes around the handle and you would tighten this down just like that. So there you have it. Um, I like this system with the DIY buckle because it keeps the height or it keeps the umbrella away from knocking into my head. Where the Gossamer Gear one was just constantly flapping over, this one's staying in place and I can put it up a little higher or I can put it a little lower, but it's not hitting my head and it's not bouncing around and it's staying where it needs to be. So um, I really like the DIY system. So what do you think? Would you use a trekking umbrella? It's not a fashion statement, but boy, it does come in handy on those hot, hot days. If there are any other topics that you would like us to discuss, let us know as well. And as always, Buen Camino, pilgrims.